Hey everyone, I hope you guys are enjoying the free title update for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, which is of course now available on the Nintendo Switch and on PC. And in this video, I want to try to teach you first and foremost how to get the five star afflicted investigation quest, as well as also go over the fact that Apex are officially back in master rank as well this is something of a little bit of a brand new surprise that we didn't necessarily know about that basically has now been officially confirmed so first and foremost what you need to know is that basically afflicted investigation and anomaly quest five star versions where you are ha are going to have access to brand new monsters like luna garen rathalos magma almadron astalos seragios tigrex and Diablos, in order for you to be able to have access to them, you're gonna need to make your way into Anomaly Investigations level 50 plus, 50 to 51, 50 to be able to unlock it, 51 in order for you to be able to have access to the quest. This is a really big key difference since basically when you unlock access to them, you don't automatically get the quest. And I'm gonna break down that in just a second. So first and foremost, if you want to have access to these monsters, you basically just need to continually grind to be able to get to level 50. I've read that some people start out at level 31 anomaly investigations quest. Some people start at 11 and 21. It seems to be based on how much content you actually covered pre free title update. So if you got to like master rank 100, for example, like I did, and you did all the afflicted monsters, you most likely start out at level 31. If you didn't, then you most likely start out at level 11 or 21 and eventually make your way up to level 50. Now, the grind is a little bit steep, but of course, if we are able to do it on day one, then you should be able to have no problem doing that eventually. So once you do that, you're going to notice that Bahari. So let's say you get to level 50 and then you're going to notice that Bahari calls you over and he says something along the lines of like, hey, you've been able to unlock access to brand new monsters in the anomaly research so please be able to make sure and just go check them out and this is where you're now going to be able to go back into the quest board and basically have access to these monsters if you click the quest board you go to anomaly research quest you go to anomaly investigations and then you look for the target this will be the third option on the bottom and you cycle from uh, left from right to left or left to right doesn't necessarily matter you're going to notice that on the fourth and the fifth page you're going to have access to all the new monsters rathalos almadron magma almadron sinogur luna garen Asolo, seragios tigrex and i believe ragna kadaki is all the way at the end i'm not necessarily sure if it was available there you also have mitsuzane uh, also available there magna malo i'm not sure if it was there, available there in the beginning blood orange bishop 10 and a couple of others a couple of them we're just going to tell you that are like level 51 a minimum so the second you click on the monsters you're going to notice that it tells you like you need to be level 51 minimum to be able to look for this monster once you are able to spot one so let's say you pick astolos for example and then you're going to see that it's level 51 that's how you know it's one of those brand new monsters they don't necessarily tell you which ones are the new monsters you're just going to be able to tell by seeing that they're level 51. Now, the thing is, if you actually go to your anomaly quest, it's still not going to say anything about five star monsters, afflicted five star monsters appearing there, because those quests are not going to be unlocked automatically. In order for you to be able to have access to them, you need to go into someone else's hunt, get a random quest reward for one of those monsters, and that is how you actually unlock full access to them. Is this as backwards? You better believe it. This is just RNG heaven. I mentioned this in my last couple of videos, what Capcom is doing is just ridiculous levels of RNG. In order for you to be able to unlock these monsters, you're going to be unlocking their quest based on RNG. So what I would actually suggest you guys, after you essentially make your way down to 50, you unlock access to those monsters, you go into the quest board, you search, search your target, you find the one that you want to hunt, and presumably you're going to want to hunt any ones that are unlocked after level 51. So let's say Rathalos, Magma Amadron, Sinogar, Luna Garen, Asolo, Seregius, Tigrex. Basically search for any one of them. Whichever one comes up is most likely someone has a quest for that monster already. You're going to be able to be tossed into that hunt. Make sure you finish it, and then I'm going to be showing you a gameplay right now of essentially what it is that took place. Once I finished the hunt, I automatically ended up getting access to a Diablos level 53 quest, which is one of the brand new monsters. Sadly, it comes with two other monsters that I don't necessarily want to hunt. Then you get an Astalos. I did, but you might end up getting a Mitsuzane or something different. 
Uh, I ended up getting a Gosarag and then a Zenogre with an Apex Arzuros, which blew me away. So actually in the hunt that we were doing, I didn't necessarily know why people were fighting the Arzuros, and it was basically the quest that I ended up getting. Their Apexes are back and they're available in the Master Rank through these anomaly investigations. So not only are you going to have full access to afflicted five monsters through the anomaly investigations and you're going to be unlocking them through RNG in order for you to be able to have access to these quests. Also, Apex monsters are fully back in Master Rank. Presumably, all of them are going to be here. If we're seeing Apex Arzuros and he literally showed up in the first quest result that I ended up getting, then most likely we're going to end up getting uh, Apex uh, Zenogre, Apex Rathalos, Apex Rathian, etc, etc. So yeah, those not only are those bad boys back, but also you're going to be able to get the afflicted five stars monsters available through here as well. Now, if you are wondering how it is that you can unlock more quests, basically whenever you're doing any one of these anomaly investigation quests, what you are going to want to do is actually whenever you come across like plants or bugs or mining material or anything along those lines, that is basically glowing red with curios, pick those up. You're gonna notice that on the right side of the screen on your picked up rewards, you're gonna see that they have a little like red symbol, like a red cross or something. Those are basically just tallying up points for you to be able to unlock another quest. Remember if like a Monster Hunter world when they had the same system, basically you were picking up clues like mud and tracks and stuff like that. And that's how you would unlock more and more of those anomaly investigation quests. Well, this time around, in order for you to be able to do that, you're just gathering more materials in a specific hunt, breaking monster parts, beating the rewards, and then you're going to have access to those quests unlocking. Essentially, the level keeps going up and up and up. They say the monsters are more difficult. I haven't necessarily noticed that, but you're also going to notice that the monster unlocks, for example, extra conditions. They're going to tell you that you can kill, you can be killed up to five times in a hunt, or you could only have 35 minutes in the limit. Um, some some quests will say that you only have two people to be able to bring with you to a hunt. Some of them will say four. So the reason why you're continually getting more of those quests is because they're giving you different parameters for those actual hunts. And eventually, after you make your way to level 50 and you unlock your very first quest, you're going to start and be able to have access to these monsters. Now, I actually went ahead and I hosted a quest for the Sonogre with the Apex Arceros. And then I unlocked a brand new wave of monsters as well. Uh, through basically just getting random quests. So this is going to be the grind. Not only are you doing the augmenting armors and weapons and stuff like that, which I'm not even talking about in this video, but in order for you to be able to like afflicted five quests, this is the way that it's actually going to work. So it's just yet another RNG grind that they added to it for whatever reason. But hopefully you guys found this information though. Let me know in the comments just how much of a pain this is of a butt. This is definitely going to be for you. And I'm certainly going to be just continuing to grind to unlock eventually all access to all the monsters. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.